John and I had between us had nothing to do with you. It was private. It was cheap, and it was tawdry. And I'm no more proud to have you as a daughter than you are to have me as a mother. Who are you? A business associate of Julio's. I suggest you use your influence to convince him to sign our contract. What contract? Ask him. I'm not used to doing business in this fashion. My impression is you're not used to doing business, period. I'm sure you must be as uncomfortable working with me as I am working with you, Mr. Allen. So why don't we just end this partnership? Fine. Good. I'll buy back Julian's contract. I believe you originally asked for $20,000 in rental fees. I'll give you $25,000 to tear up Julian's contract now. <laughs> You have a strange sense of humor, Mr. Allen. What amount do you think would be appropriate? One million. <gasps> I'm afraid it's my turn to laugh now. Shulia Berenger would have no problem raising a million dollars. That's absurd. I didn't know you made Marissa Tyler Jean. She's a good friend of mine. These were supposed to be shipped out yesterday. Get them out of here. Oh, how cozy. Marissa and I have lunch together all the time. I'm sure she'd be interested to know we have a mutual business partner. I'm just a subcontractor. I don't deal with her directly. Marissa does know you make her jeans, doesn't she? Of course she does. Well, of course, because you couldn't make them without her permission, and you do pay her a license fee, don't you? This isn't what we're here to discuss. Isn't it? I'm still willing to buy back Julian's contract, only it's back to the original offer of 20000 You should give it serious consideration. This is not just an imitation, Sasaki. It's a bad imitation. 